Hi everyone and welcome to our final episode in our water swimming series. In this episode we're carrying on where we left off and creating our water landscape and in this water landscape what we're going to be doing is adding a post process to our water so when we go into it it changes the way the screen is rendered to the player and that's what a post process does it just changes the way something's rendered. So to do this, we need to create a post process volume. So in your volume settings, uh, volume section, sorry, you want to find your post process volume, and you want to drag that out. And much like our water volume, you want to just drag that down into the water. Get the height of it first, of, uh, first and foremost. So find the uh, box settings for this somewhere around here. There we are. So I'm just going to change that so that the top just barely goes beneath the surface, like so. And then whack up the X and Y to cover the whole area. Should do it. So this post process volume basically means whenever the camera goes into it, it will change the way the camera's rendered to the screen. And there are tons of settings in our details panel that we can change on this. But we're going to change only a couple, but you can tweak these as much as you like, experiment bar means to see what suits you. Now, in the last episode, I revealed that I downloaded the Ocean Floor uh, Marketplace assets that were free for November. Uh, so you may have them too. And what I'm going to be doing is using my Screen Wave Material Post Process function and using that as for the part of the volume. Now, if you hover over it, you'll see it says Material Domain Post Process. That means I can use this for a post process volume. So in my post process materials on my volume, we can go Add New Element and choose asset reference. We can then drag that onto our screen. And you should be able to see this sort of wave effect going across the screen to where it distorts the camera a little bit. So that's a subtle wave. Next we're going to go up and we're going to change the temperature. So find where it says white balance and tick temperature. And then turn this down to make it a bit colder because water is a bit cold. Like so. So notice the difference. This is more blue, more cold. This is more bright. Okay. Next, we're going to go into global section and we're going to change the gamma. And the gamma is going to change sort of the color that the, is being applied to the render. I'm going to give it a slight blue hint, like so. And that's kind of it. That's all I'm going to do to it. I'm going to hit play. So it's normal. And as you notice, if I go into the water, I now get a more realistic looking view. And that's it. We have finished this swimming series. Thank you so much for following along. If you've liked this video and you want to like more and see more of them uh, before anyone else, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where a donation of just $1 a month will give you access to videos well before anyone else, as well as exclusive benefits such as the Discord access and project files and many other things. Thank you to all my supporters for uh, their support, obviously, as well as their suggestions for videos, including this one. This was suggested by one of the uh, Patreons, so thank you for your support. And um, yeah, hopefully you've all learned something from this and taken away something. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.